Good morning. My name is Michael Betancourt. I'm a sophomore at Florida International University pursuing a computer science degree. And my ethical topic today was whether or not um, songs and movies should be free to download. So think about the last time you downloaded a movie or a song maybe and and think about whether or not those actions if you downloaded them illegally think about whether or not those actions are ethical or not so you just downloaded a movie off of the internet and it hasn't come out on dvd yet uh possibly on a somewhat sketchy website but you get to see your movie and that's great but what what was lost when you downloaded that movie for free and what if somebody tries to make money off of off of this movie that that's illegally downloaded so we'll talk about um all those things and and try to figure out whether or not it is ethical um and just like everything there's always two sides to an argument and we'll try to identify those here the question and you need to ask yourself when um talking about ethics is whether or not um this action benefits society in any way or harms society in any way um now for the first argument which is yes uh music and movies should be free to download um one argument could be made that um free downloads will not actually hurt the music industry uh why is that is because most of their profits come from touring and from concerts and from merchandise um the artist actually doesn't make um much money off of downloads on platforms such as apple music or spotify um artist makes about uh 10 percent while the rest of the money is is made by the record label and the streaming service um, another thing that can be argued as far as um yes music should be free to download is is that um people can't always afford to pay 99 cents or a dollar 29 uh per song um the the argument that you can make is that yes it is a good investment because um you are paying for a song that you can enjoy over and over again put it on repeat play it a million times you'll never lose the song once you pay for it but it's not necessarily practical to be paying um 99 cents or even more sometimes for a song that that is not the only song you're gonna enjoy you're gonna want to listen to other songs and you, when all of that starts adding up it can be a lot of money and it's simply just not practical um that is why a lot of people don't actually see this action as unethical because many people agree with um, the fact that it, it's not always practical to be able to buy all of your music. Um, and that's another reason why uh, streaming platforms came out, such as Apple Music and Spotify and Pandora in an attempt to try to solve that problem um, while still making money. Um, furthermore, if being free allows uh, the artist to gain more exposure and attract potential customers uh, by selling merchandise and more people attending concerts. They have they don't have much to lose. Uh, if their downloads were free, they would lose some money, but they would gain a lot of a bigger fan base. They gain more exposure for their music and more opportunities to make even more money further down the line. Now, as far as movies are, uh, are concerned, should movies also be free to to download? Um, now, now we can talk about the movie industry, which is a little bit different than the music dif industry, or maybe a lot different. Um, so, um, actors are or in the movie industry actors are paid under contract so they don't they specifically do not get paid for the amount of downloads or dvds sold um it is a studio who makes that money and the actors get paid from their contracts and just simply move on with their lives um streaming services such as uh, hulu and netflix pay licensing to be able to provide uh, the movies on their platform. And uh, unfortunately, some deals are just too expensive or not um, desirable for them. So sometimes movies that are popular are not available or not, um, 
or not out for several months before before being available to their customers. So now um, that brings us to the other side of that, um, and that being people downloading movies off of the internet for free. Uh, now the main problem when it comes to that is uh, oftentimes people try to take advantage of this so they can then um, go on a website, download a movie for free, uh, oftentimes they burn it onto a CD and then you can see these movies that haven't come out in stores yet or still maybe still in the theaters um, out selling on the streets, uh, probably not the best copies but these people are still making a profit off of work that somebody else did by simply just recording it or downloading it, uh, pasting it onto a, a CD and then going out and selling it. Uh, obviously that is extremely unethical and, and it's illegal. You can get fined, you can even go to jail and you're not just, you know, downloading this movie to watch it and enjoy it for yourself or with your family. You're downloading this movie to to just make a profit and of course that is just stealing and that is unethical uh, society gains nothing all that. right so all of that pretty much just brings us to our last quite our well our first question and our last question which is um should music and or movies be free to download uh and what does society have to lose or gain from from either one of these being free to download and when you ask that question I believe you need to actually ask yourselves a series of questions and the, the very first one should be is that person who is downloading this for free um, is that person make trying to or making a profit off of that so and when you ask that question if the answer is yes then clearly uh, no it is not an ethical action the person is stealing attempting to make up somebody else's work and if the answer is no, um, then you need to consider a couple other questions, such as, um, well, if that pr this person is downloading movies for free, what type of economical impact is that person potentially making? Um, personally, I believe that would be a very small economic impact, uh, considering that as far as for movies, uh, a lot of their profits are not even from downloading. And um, and for movies, uh, many people actually don't mind paying for streaming services. See, now the convenience of streaming services um, has actually made it so a lot of people don't mind paying. But for those people who cannot afford uh, streaming services such as uh, Netflix or Hulu or Pandora or Spotify, um, people that cannot afford it doesn't mean that they should not be able to listen to music or movies or watch movies um, I don't think so I think that as long as that person is not making a profit off of what it is that they're downloading um, society doesn't really lose much if it loses anything at all um, so that is my conclusion thank you for listening have a great day guys